how only of a first snubbed the advice of Abbasanjo after meeting Tunumbu yesterday. Welcome to the news and thank you for tuning in to listen. It is no longer news that former Lagos State Governor Bola Ahmed Tunumbu, who was also vying to be Nigeria's next president, paid a visit to the Oni of a fair Oba Adeyeye in his palace in Ocean State a few hours ago. Well, still on the consultations, um, the Jagaban of Lagos himself is going from, he has gone to the north and now he is facing the south, he, uh, southwest in particular. <laughs> He's going there to, you know, ask for prayers, ask for consultations, and that is what he is doing now. And me, I'm like, okay, we are doing all those things. These people, all they are going to be able to give is one vote. Yes, maybe, maybe they will be able to mobilize people, but at the end of it, it is one, 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 one vote. Okay, fine. You have not told us, the electorate, what exactly you're going to be offering. What do we stand to value if you become the next president? Let's hear what he has to say. The news in detail, please stay with us. Bola Tenembu, who had already met with many Southwest King prior to the proceedings of Oni of Ife, claimed that he went to the Oba to obtain his prayer and to inform him of his presidential ambition. However, during the meeting yesterday, the Oni of Ife did what the former president of Nigeria, Olushe Gobasanjo, advised him not to do. What did Gobasanjo tell Oni of Ife not to do? That he snubbed after meeting Tenembu. Some weeks ago, Basanjo advised Obadiah not to stay neutral about the presidential ambitions of everybody that came to meet him. He told the king not to endorse anybody for the Yoruba, for the people of Yoruba, and because we don't go in different, we go in different directions as everybody will have their favorite candidate in mind. Obasanjo predict, predicted that many politicians as parents of a Nigerian president will visit him very soon because of his status and as the father of all in Yoruba land, but Oba Adeyeye should remain neutral. After the meeting Tunubu yesterday, the Oni after meeting Tunubu yesterday, the Oni of Ife, Oba Adeyeye endorsed him as a special breed that could take Nigeria to higher positions. He also showers many prayers for him about his presidential ambitions, praying that the, de the deities and the ancestors of the Yoruba people would be at his back. Well, this is what we call a case of. Uh, uh, it's not my. It's not me that said it though. It's not my right mm hand. -hmm. Money for and back for ground. We all know how things can be. Uh, I'm not insinuating anything. No, I'm not. But uh, in some places, in some, the northern area, we all know that um, terrible went there and he gave them huge sums of money, especially. I think in Castina he went to give them fifty million naira. Yes, I think was it in Castina or in Kaduna? No, not in Kaduna. In Castina, and I think in Bronu State. Like there are many places he went and gave them things. Huh. Okay. Awujale remains a true Yoruba Oba with dignity. Maybe few more, majority of them are cash and carry obas. <laughs> okay. He ought to be neutral as a basunja advice. If by turn of other events another Yoruba shows up, what will be his comment? Obas are father to all and must remain neutral because the person you don't explain may clinch the position and based on his bias comment may cause negative consequences. Hmm. You guys do not understand history. Oni were never neutral. They were in fact AG and UPN supporters and it was open. So why should he be neutral? If he believes in him, why can't he support him? Know your history and political history in particular. Obasa Inja was being political in his advice, knowing that the historical connection between the previous Oni's and dominant political thinking or party in the region. Hmm. Okay. Uh, well, whatever be the case, I think, um, my own is, if uh, he endorsed Tenembu now, what if somebody else, what if, let's say, for instance, I'm just saying, what if the vice president comes along, 
What if uh, somebody else comes along? What exactly is he going to say to them? Is he going to say to them, Oh, sorry, I've already endorsed someone, or will he also go ahead to endorse them as well? Obas and can give advice. It's an advice, and at the end of the day, it is left for the only of the fair to listen to the advice or not. OBJ is not a Yoruba man. Did he visit any Obas in the region in 1999? He even said when there were Yoruba voted for him or not, he will win. Let him keep it advice to himself. Huh. Yorubas that support Tunubu are rooks. <laughs> and Tunubu himself is selfish. It is, the, it is not the turn of Yorubas this time around. It is the turn of the Southeast. The Yorubas need to support the Southeast this time around. Usibanja has been vice president for seven years now. Yorubas are greedy and selfish and still agitating to be president. Tunubu will not get there. If only like let he can evoke the spirit of Yoruba deities, it will amount to exercise infertility. Hmm. Okay. I think it's high time to ignore Baba Analog advice. He led us to this mess. Jagaban remains the anointed candidate. So, so Jagaban is the digital device, right? <laughs> Some people will not cease to amaze me. Which law says that a traditional ruler cannot uh, identify with the candidates of his choice? Mm, well, whatever. Whatever, sincerely. At the end of the day, uh, we'll see how things play out. I've been a fan of, let's just sit this one out. Sincerely. The elections, everything happening. They are not for me and you, my, my dears. They are not for me and you. Sincerely, we are only but spectators, expect, except those who are actually party members and they have been mobilized to do this and that and that and this. But sincerely, if you are, if you are not a party, if you not, if you do not belong to the party, you just be watching. Your own is just to spectate, so just watch how things go on. Which this is what we want to do. A lot of people come out and say, "Oh, it will go like this, so it will go like that." So by the end of it, here, we all watch and see how it all plays out. Politics itself. It's a game that you cannot, it does not have, it might show you this outcome, but it might come out with another. Okay, on this note, we have come to the end of the news. We say thank you for tuning in to listen. Until I come here next time, enjoy the rest of your day.